The build is using Dark Tentacle move, and if we pair that with the High Elf Race, we get an insanely low cooldown. Each time you cast this move, it starts summoning more tentacles, but in return, it starts dealing damage to yourself also. So the tentacle move isn't that, it's not that impressive on its own, but when we pair this with a set like Cactus King, it starts getting really strong. Although that already sounds good, we still have a problem because we're taking a lot of damage when we're using the move. And the only way for this build to solve this issue is to go for the Cursed Dagger handle as it provides us Cursed Rip. It heals when we hit a debuffed opponent. We get weakening from the blade and the handle as well. On top of that, we get Endless Despair, which increases the debuff duration and also increases how strong our debuffs are on the target. With all of these traits combined, as you can see, I was able to live through 3 Dragon Gators Tail Sweep and on top of that, yield to full HP afterwards. And the reason for me being that tanky isn't because I have physical defense or protection or anything like that. It's fully because of the weakness and me being able to make the weakness stronger and also on top of that, I get a lot of healing. So we're equipping three pieces of Cactus King. We're also infusing three pieces of Cactus King. On the screen you can see me wearing Launch Rune because it gives me wind boost but you don't have to wear that and it's such a little amount of wind boost. Only once you enchant it into Windy and upgrade it, it will be a significant amount but you don't really have to wear that. It's an optional thing. You can wear whatever rune you want for this build. It's not a important at all and I'm wearing the lucky ring all I can say is lucky ring is OP it's all you need to know we're in vampire guild but you can go knight's guild and I do recommend knight's guild as it might actually be better also you could go dark elf you can go high elf both work really doesn't really matter too much high elf just has the highest DPS so I'm going to quickly explain why you wear 6 pieces of Cactus King. So each piece gives you more chance to proc the Sandstorm. It also increases the scaling by a lot. So the damage goes up. Also the stats the armor gives you boost the damage even further. You could technically change one or two pieces but I recommend keeping all 6 on for, for this build. Don't do no none of that reaper armor. People think reaper is good. It's not. It's bad. Stop. Also, the knight skilled is why I think it's good is because you when you use your weapon art, it taunts and it also says that taunted enemies take more damage. So that's free damage boost. You also have a chance to negate damage on you, so your self damage is less. Also, people dealing damage to you is less, and they're also weakened, so it's like double the chance. Lucky Ring increases the chance on the damage negation passive. I don't know what it's called, but that also. I think Knight might just be better than Vampire, but you can do whichever you want. And I could be wrong, hopefully not. 